what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Hawk, and I have a Nuketown gameplay for you guys. I know I don't usually post any Nuketown videos just because Nuketown is a piece of crap, a piece of duty, and it never plays the same way that it does in Black Ops 1. Um, I mean, with the kill streaks and the score streaks we have now, um, putting them on such a small map is really wasn't that good of an idea. And it doesn't turn out very well and turn out as we expected when we play this game. So I'm going to have two videos uh, up for you guys. Hopefully, one this week and one possibly for next week. Um, just two different play styles that you can use for Nuketown. One of them, this is going to be probably the first one. Or one of the first classes you can use for it. Uh, it's more of a MK48 kind of class setup. I do switch to an MP7 several times in this game, but the, the general idea for the MK48 is there. So it's pretty much an MK48 with the red dot. Uh, hopefully have flak jacket and tack mask. If you want to throw on hardwired, you can do that too. There's a lot of EMP nades and such. Uh, but flak, flak jacket is necessary because of C4s and that kind of crap that goes through it. Um, goes throwing, uh, that goes flying across the map in this in this game mode and any other game mode that you play. Yeah, I know demolition is really really popular in Newtown. It's just because it lasts really really long. And I'm I'm just gonna slow down because I'm talking really really fast. I'm like hyper mode, but I prefer to play kill confirmed on this, even though this map is technically broken. I know you guys have to agree with me on that. So. In this video, other than um, the playstyle for Newtown, I want to talk to you guys about the PS4 and a few details regarding it. Now, what has been rumored is that we're going to have 2,000 friends on PS4. You're going to have the ability to do that. And also, um, I didn't update this in a previous video, but you will now have the opportunity to use your same PSN, so all my friends will carry over. And I'm actually thinking about starting a series, it's not really a series, it'll be like a one part video, or maybe two parts or three parts, and it's going to be race to 2,000 friends. So I'm going to add anyone and everyone, anyone I want to be in the clan and such, anyone that I've, just as long as they're not trolls, otherwise I'll delete you off my friends list because I don't like trolling. Um, anyone who I wasn't able to add before as a friend, and hopefully the clan, as I said in an earlier video, with, um, it was an S&D gameplay, hopefully the clans they bump up the numbers so we're able to have more people and I can have some more clan mates on my friends list more people to game with I can do some open lobbies I can do ground war lobbies I can do uh, domination 6v6 hopefully they bring back multi-team there's a whole bunch of different options that having a bigger clan and bigger friends list can do for you um, it'll give me much more that opportunity to play with gamers if you guys haven't done so already uh, follow me on Twitter. I mean, my Twitter is really lonely. I don't get enough tweets from you guys. I was planning on doing a 500 sub Q&A, but I think I will save that for a little when I get a little bit more up there in the subscriber count. Um, and I have to thank the people that leave comments. I mean, it's good to leave a view, uh, but even if you leave a little comment saying, you no, know, like, hey, what's up or whatever, hi, like. Just watching the video, I don't know who watched the video, so when you leave me a comment, even if it's hi or what's up, then I know that you're interactive, you're still watching the channel, and I know that you're engaged somewhat in the videos. I mean, because the views are going to be there, whether I get 10 views a video, whether I get 50 views, it's more. I read the, I try to read the comments every single time. May I may not read them right away, maybe like an hour after. I may read them three or four hours after, and I'll reply to all of them that I can. And... I'm really happy that PlayStation 4 will have so many more friends, or it's, you know, it's a r rumor, but I'm pretty sure they can do it with the technology, and that's going to be really, really cool. So what I will be doing is I will be buying, as I mentioned many times before, I'll be buying Battlefield 4 P on PS3, Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm not buying Diablo 3, I was really looking forward to it, but I've had to actually buy two headsets in the span of two months, because my headsets both crapped, well, my Turtle Beaches crapped out. So I bought the Skull Candy Slayer only to find out it doesn't work with my PVR and there's messed up connection issues. So I actually had to switch to my old PVR and I used that and I realized that the quality, once I render the videos, makes it shake like a motherfucker and it just destabilizes the whole image. So I had to go back to using my new PVR. Um, and right now that's the state I'm in so I have to re-get all my gameplays because when I render them out they're going to shake no matter what. So if I use my new PVR... 
I'm able to have non-shaky gameplays. It looks really good in HD 720p or 1080 if I'm really, you know, if I'm really feeling in the mood to do so. And I just went on a two-minute rant about PVRs, but just letting you guys know that are starting channels, make sure you have reliable equipment that you can actually that you you know is going to work for you. Take care of your equipment. Don't break it. Don't toss it. Don't you get when you rage, just take a deep breath. You know, because games like this, games on Newtown where you end up dying like this many times that I did, you know, Newtown is just, that's one of the things that really pisses me off, because there's no way you're going to get out of Newtown without dying at least 20 times, unless you're camping. And even then, they'll still, they'll, they'll spawn right behind you, they'll spawn in front of you, they'll spawn next to you, be like, hey, what's up, you want to go for, you want to grab some coffee? Yeah, I'll spawn in front of you and throw a C4 at you. So, uh, really random commentary again. But you know, what other details do I have for you guys? Uh, as I mentioned, I'll be doing a series. But it seems that the Xbox One will be having only a thousand friends. So, hmm. That's going to be quite interesting. So they're still going to have a little bit less than us. Even though we're paying $100 less. Sounds like a good deal to me. Uh, PSN Party Chat will also be free without a PlayStation Plus account. But do, do ensure that you guys do have to have... Um, at least a five dollar subscription fee per month to play online uh, that's something we're not used to paying for a PlayStation service but it's not really that big of a deal when you think about it considering Xbox Live people have been playing I've been paying <laughs> I've been paying for their uh, service for how long so that's not really a new thing but now it's being brought to us as well but I'm I'm all for it if it's gonna be better security more enjoyable experience and they can update the media, I mean not the media, but the layout on the PS4 through these upgrades and make it much more uh, interactive and more less boring, like the XMB medium bar in the PS3 was really boring to me, uh, I'm just logging on my PS3, the only thing I liked about it was the HD quality, other than that, menu screen was boring as hell. So anyways, I blazed through this commentary, I'll have another video up for you guys, take care, peace.